Hi everyone, uh, welcome to, what day is it, Thursday, blimey this week is uh, starting to go uh, nice and fast, um, before I know it, it'll be Sunday and I'll be sleeping, <laughs> so no rest for the wicked, I must have been wicked at some point in my life, um, I hope I was enjoying myself at the time. Now, we are experiencing trouble with our tech, so there's a good chance that this is not going to work. Um, at the moment, I'm moving on my screen, so I am hope I'm moving on yours. Hiya Claire, hiya Carolyn. So, I'm guessing I'm coming through at the moment. So, what have we got to tell you? Uh, we've got a load of new fabrics in the shop. Um, the Janet Clare has gone on and the William Morris and the French General are all on the website. There's another one that's come through. It's called Easy Paper, something like that. Um, it's a low volume uh, muted greys and creams, greys and whites I think. Um, I will try and get that onto the website at some point. Um, if you know what I'm on about then please feel free to give me a ring and uh, get it in. Um, that's good, that's good. I think it's when we start toggling and everything. Um, occasionally the laptop comes up with we need to um, clear some of the uh, some of the data and, and stuff so maybe it needs uh, a little bit of a clean up um, what else was there oh we're going to put a raffle on uh, it'll go on at midday tomorrow which gives me enough chance to get rid of some of the um, orders in the morning before you all start going mad so midday tomorrow the new uh, raffle will go on. The um, subject is cake. <laughs> so, and we all know how much Sarah Jane likes cake. Today, we were going to do the Calyx box. We are going to do the Calyx box, right? This is the one that I saw. And I thought, what a jolly good idea that is. And it's, it's on the Plush Addicts site, but it uses buckram and we don't have any buckram. So if I used Bosal, as I'm a want to do, it would come out really expensive. Okay. Um, buckram, I've been looking at it, it, is the stuff that they use. It's very similar to what um, Gail was using on Tuesday. But it's the stuff they put in the headers of um, curtains when they want to make them really sharp. You know, when they pleat them and they want them to stay sharp and things. It's like a palmet uh, backing. You can get it fusible. You can get it in all sorts of um, versions and everything. Um, I'm assuming that plush addicts would have it in stock if they're doing these um, patterns. So then I started having a look around to see whether I could find something that I could use that uh, would change what I'm doing. And I found a lady, an American lady, I think she was an American lady, um, a lady who does covers and hers are just a sleeve that go around and you put it on the fabric ones and because it's the fabric against the fabric it doesn't really move and I thought well the cheapest way of getting a calyx box is a cardboard box you know the card ones um, that they go flat and you you build them and everything like this okay but I'm still not overly happy with this. I'm not happy with the way that well, it comes with a lid which you wouldn't really need. Um, let me get all the, the rubbish out, my book. So 
so I've done this so it's got a handle but it's moving now on the fabric ones they weren't moving um, she did a handle here which we might try this time okay um, I haven't put a hem on it which you can do there's no need for it to be lined or anything and I've put this so that it sits in in there but I think it needs to be longer a bit like um, laundry baskets and that okay so that was my plan all right and as we know Sarah Jane's plans don't always go to to plan I was out Monday and I was out Tuesday and last night I started it and I was so tired and so cross-eyed that I went to bed so um, <laughs> we, 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 we're on the fly right I worked out start from the beginning I worked out my sizes okay now a calyx, calyx box is 12 and a half inches high well these ones are okay um the they're not called calyx boxes the fabric ones are called drona i don't know whether these are as well um but their idea dave dave just wanted to know why i didn't just take felt pens out and draw on them because they were just white cardboard boxes it's a very good idea except i can't draw very well and i sell fabric not felt pens which is what I told him. So it's 12 and a half inches high. It's also 12 and a half inches wide. Give or take. 12 and a quarter really. And on the out on the side it's um, 13 and a quarter um, long. Okay? So it is uh, a rectangle, not a square. Alright? just the one thing to begin with I then measured all the way round so I knew that I wanted one piece of um, fancy fancy fabric now I'm a big believer I'm a big believer in using your favourite fabrics don't have them in the drawer because they end up faded and whatever um, my my philosophy is is if you have a fabric that's just too nice to use use it on something that you see every day my pin cushion um, my thread catcher that we do uh, that's made out of some fabric that Sarah bought me with a llama on it and I loved it that much I made it out of my um, I made it out of my made my thread catcher out of that because I look at it every day um, so use your uh, favourite fabrics in this okay and I only had this fabric at home that was big enough to go around I would normally use maybe calico something cheap or an old sheet to go around because you're using that the bit to go down the sides and around the back is 40 inches. That's a hell of a lot of fabric to use pretty stuff that you're not going to see. So I would just use something old. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm not that keen on this. So we're just going to go through it and we will tweak. Okay. So I have my 40 centimetres, it's not quite 40, it's a little bit longer, um, 40 set of inches of calico cut at 13 and 13, or well, did I say it was 12 and a half and I reckoned you needed about three quarters of an inch for folding to do your hem at the bottom and also um, do a hem at the top uh, so I cut it at 13 it looks like I might have cut it at 14 
14. I've cut it at 14 because I reckoned it with the way I sew. It's better to have too much than too little. I've also cut a six and a half, it was ruler width, length of uh, the same width, uh, the same length. All right. No, it needs to be longer. It needs to be. Let me look at my book. This is how I do it. I just... So it needs to be 53 inches because that's the bit that's going to sit on the inside. And I'm not going to fold this one in half this time. I'm going to hem it and see if that works better. Okay. And this piece is going to be my front. And I need this piece at... I've got a nice bit of petite that I just pinched out of the shop. Um, this needs to be just slightly bigger than the front of the box, which is 12 and a quarter by 12 and a half. So I've made it 12 and a quarter by 12 and a half. So I need to cut it at, because you need edges. Uh, so I'm gonna cut it at 14, by 13 and we can always trim it down okay 14 by 13 so what did what size is that oh so if i fold this over i'm getting a little bit gummed up here so how are you all while i'm doing this how are you all are you are you okay um i saw you were talking about lovely weather the next week's going to be colder oh that's just typical isn't it just typical right so we need it 13 by what did i say 13 by 14 roughly roughly so what's half of 14 is seven and if i go 13 over by seven. There we go. So it's going to go up here along there. There you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know when it's going to, what, what, what will work and what won't work. What do you, Claire? So, I have a square. Let's stick that the iron on this. I'm a bit worried about toggling all these things through um, in case I lose you. So we've got our front. So on the front, let's go see if we can do this. Let me know if it all freezes, all right? So on, on here, you want a handle. Now, I did a handle like on on the droner boxes you've got a handle and I don't think I did mine wide enough looking at the ones that Sarah's got on her shelves there I did this at a four so it ended up two inches I don't think I did it wide enough I think it needs to be a bit wider all right so you can either Fold one in, uh, make one that goes on there and it's just a pull, so it's right in the middle. But we're going to give the other one a go again. So, we're going to take our, what's it material, what's it called? Contrast. Okay. We'll take our contrast material and we are going to cut if we do a six it's going to be a three if we go six and a half that will take in the bit going in like that which way up is it now remember that it is a um a rectangle so you want to make sure that you're putting the right sides together 
Okay, so this needs to go along this top here. So we're going to fold this in half like that. And we're going to sew it there. Alright, so for the moment, we're going to. That's a very straight pin, is it? We're going to pin those on there like that. I don't know that the, the light is going to make that much of a difference, but we'll have a look. Might be just because we're re using black. Okay, so that's the thing. Now you could, before you put it on, you could put in a stitch along here, which would make sure that your um, do can't think what I was going to say then, um, which would give it that sharper edge. All right. Now the best thing to do when you're sewing any of this is spray an iron. But I'm trying to save some time here. Normally I would have sprayed and ironed it at home. Okay, so leave that pinned like that. Now you could put in um, eighth of an inch along there to baste it, but we all know how lazy we are at sewing. And we're going to take our What's this called? Calico. And we're going to put this against here and we're going to sew that piece in. I'm going to sew it all together and I'm just going to sew along this line here. Okay. Now, I'm not going to put it onto the sewing machine because that seems to be when we get it all and you know what it looks like to sew a line. Now, I'm going to use edge of foot okay I'm going to use edge of foot just purely and simply because I've cut it for that I think for something like this if you're one of these people that are in and out of your boxes you're going to want it to um, you're going to want to be able to it, it to be robust so rather than using the um, quarter of an inch you want to make it uh, more robust and have a, a thicker thing so I'm, I'm thinking too many too many ahead now I'm making sure that I've got hold of and it's flat my handle bit all right we're just going to sew this along here. So hopefully this weather will get more and more prominent. It's beautiful out there. I keep thinking, when we first opened, we used to have chairs in weather like this. We'd have chairs outside the front of the shop. For us to go and sit and have coffee and that would be lovely. Oh, Taryn's sat in the sunshine. I quite like that idea. Oh <laughs> so long I've managed to trail it underneath the chair. Okay so we have a nice neat line. Now you can fold it uh, iron it open. If you were to cut with pinking shears, there is no need for you to do any anything to these edges. They're not going to fray. Or you could um, zigzag along them. You don't really want to have them lined because it's a waste of fabric and you're not seeing them anyway. So I would pink and shear or I would... Um, put in your know, overlock them or something uh, put a zigzag in and do that before you start sewing should have told you that before right okay so we now know we now know 
that this is going to go on there, okay, and this is going to go along here. Now imagine how lovely this would be if you are trying to decorate a room and you want your calyx boxes because sometimes you can only get the drudgy grey ones. Now if you want drudgy grey, dr drudgy grey, that's one thing. Me, I'm not a grey person. So I like them all to be different. So you're going to measure this around. You want it so that it's snug. You don't want it tight, tight, but you want it snug. So you're going to come along here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark. It comes along there. I'm going to do edge of foot. So I'll do it about there. So I'm going to mark it. Now remember, if you've sewn it and it's not snug enough, you can sew a close, you know, sew it a bit further over and make it fit. These are calyx boxes. You're not wearing them. Okay, so we're going to chop that bit off there because we don't need all of that. And all of you with your posh sewing rooms and your she sheds and everything, this would be lovely. You could have them. <laughs> I could have a rainbow. Okay, so all I've done is I've just chopped chopped off the bit that I don't want. Hi, happy birthday! Thank you. It's Alex's birthday today. So he's come to collect his, uh, his, his uh, goodies. So we're going to. Uh, let's put you on there. I'm just going to sew. I've put this around. Make sure that you haven't got a, a loop in it or anything. And I'm going to put this together. And I'm going to pin it this time. Uh, I don't do that very often. But I am going to pin it this time. Like that. Because this is already moving. And what we're going to do is, no, no we're not, we're not doing that, we're not doing that, we're going to put the other bit on first, because it will be easier to do it now while it's a straight line than it will be to do it when it's, um, uh, when it's in a square circle thing. Right, so. I've got my long piece. I'm going to fold up a hem. Alright. Now, I'm going to fold it as a double fold. Because I can. Alright. So, yeah. These are, the, these are the type of things that I forget when we're doing all this. It's easy when you're at home. You just sort of like sit and you ponder. Now we, at home, I have a gauge which I would put to make sure that I was being even along my, um, my length, but we're just doing it like this. So what plans have you all got for the weekend? Are you um, out and about? Shops open this weekend. So I'll be there till one, um, and then, and probably writing down all your uh, your winnings, your what they called <laughs> your raffle winning, all your uh, choices, cakes. It's Mother's Day this weekend, isn't it? So. I think we're having Chinese. It's a lot easier to have Chinese, but unfortunately, the Chinese by us doesn't do lunch time. So 
we might have to we'll do it at tea time however if the weather's going to be nice it'd be nice to do a barbecue wouldn't it although I'm still off some meats um, and especially what did Dave do the other day lamb I can eat lamb but he did lamb chops and he grilled them whereas he fried them I think the last time and they were alright when they were fried so I mean I feel very sorry for all these people that have got re the parosmia really bad and can't eat or drink anything but me I'm alright with cake and cheese so it hasn't been very good for my uh, my diet at all now we're not going to need all of this I don't think I thought that was a spider then there's a bit of black thread came off I thought it was going to be a spider and I thought it was going to be about to squeal okay so we're going to put the hem on and I'm just going to just wing this through yeah I I've bought some plants Claire I want to be doing gardening as well um, that would be really nice to be able to do some gardening and this weather makes me start to think about cleaning the um, the patio slabs getting the pressure washer out however we've got so much more furniture now in um, in our garden that it's good to be one of those things where we're going to have to do it in two or three two or three goes so I'm putting a hem on Ooh, tell you what I saw yesterday um, came up in my inbox from company Kelly's Fabrics something like that and they are, were talking about machine binding and using your stitch in the ditch foot to make it even which I thought was a really good idea so I'll, I'll have a go at that and then we'll have a look at doing the binding right that is a very very hurried not very good um not very good hem it's not very straight but it's going to be on the inside and your boxes are going to be so full of wool or fabric you're not going to notice are you so we're now going to have a look at it this way can't wait for a barbecue yeah it it's um i do enjoy a barbecue I think I like the togetherness of a barbecue with people. Right, you're going to you want this to go and it's going to flip all right, and sit like that. So you want to make sure that it goes right sides together which is difficult when you're using uh, calico so we're going to just let that go over a little bit all right and I'm going to start sewing I have to go the other way aren't I um, from this end and just keep going all the way down all the way down until I run out of my bottom bit all right so back over to the machine Yeah, clocks go forward this. It's all shaping up quite nicely towards um, summer, isn't it? I can't wait for the summer. I'm still wearing boots, even in this beautiful weather, because the shop is cold, especially in the afternoon. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's amazing when it's... 
full on summer and it's boiling, the shop is always a nice place to be because it's so cool. It's cool in lots of ways. Um, but yeah, we, um, we're finding it a bit chilly. And Linda's not, um, Linda's thermostat's broken. So one minute she's boiling hot and the next minute she's freezing. So I'm going along here. Now I didn't keep that open. If you want that to be open, make sure that it's open when you sew over it. Not like me, I've sewn it closed. So just keep going until you get to end. I'm hoping I'm going to get some time to walk the dogs this weekend. I'm missing my, my beach walks in Cornwall. And Dave takes videos when they go, Betty is a real water dog. She loves the water. She doesn't even need you to be throwing things in and out of it. She just likes to go in on her own. So she's... Uh, She's almost fully grown now. They reckon about eight to ten months, don't they? That dogs are fully grown. Well, she's she was August fourth, so um, she's coming up to eight months. So she should be pretty much stopped growing. I hope so. She's uh, she's a good size. She's a good size, and when she came, she was the same size as Rufio. And now she walks all over him. Poor thing. Although, he, can, he holds his own. Okay, so, we're at the end of that. Okay. So we're now going... We've while we, When we did that, we've sewed down our flap okay so it all went together and we're going to chop off this bit all right because we don't need that so we're going to chop that off make sure it's straight straightish and we are now going to put these two ends together like that. I think we need to trim that off as well. That bit should go there. I need to trim this bit off here. Okay. So we're going to sew these together now along there. Right. Like that. Okay. So I'll go back to there. Sewing postcards. Ooh. Can you put some pictures up, please? Who is this? Karen. Karen, put some um, pictures up so that we can see what the postcards are like. So I'm going to do a back stitch there. Now on the um, original one, the, the green one, I did um, like a tuck in the corners on the inside to see whether I could make it sit. But I'm not sure that it made it any better. So, I've gone along there. Okay, so now we have our square. So we'll turn it out the right way and hope, keep your fingers crossed now, everybody. No, oh, excuse me, I've got to stand up a minute. So this then we'll fit over. Now, remember, if you're going to cover a 
fabric drona box you don't need a bit to go inside you just need to hem it hang on it's like dressing a baby well it fits and it's snug so we need to put it in roughly the right place to begin with now you could make the front bit that little bit longer so it goes round the corner okay yeah if you made it so that it went round the corner you wouldn't see any of the white at all Now you could top stitch along the top, which would make that hold it down. You could put um, you could put a drawstring in the bottom. You know, so that you pull it so it goes tighter again it seems to be a bit loose at the bottom so whether or not you would need to cut it chamfered you know the, the, the extra bit that you put on but the handle's better bigger so you would then just do it like you would for um uh when you're doing hems on a dress, you need to sit this on a pe pedestal, make it stand on a chair and go round it and create a thing. Ta-da! That's not too bad. As soon as I worked out how to do that bit in the inside, we'll be, we'll be rocking. I think that's quite cool. But yeah, I think whether I, I would use Velcro dots, whether having it longer means it will just stay it you know you're not going to see that bit that bit in there this floppy bit you just put a couple of tucks in there it's not too bad is it now on the front if you wanted to put a tag you could do a um vinyl you know the vinyl that we sell and put in a bias binding edge a, just sew it around cut it to the size that you need sew it around leave the top open and sew it to that piece before you start any of your other sewing and you could put a label in there then um, Sarah did luggage tags so you'd want to use it a bit like the luggage tags I think or I did one for name tags remember the um, the one for putting your name tags in I did one with all these beads and stuff stuck to it as you do uh, that one of those you could uh, do on the front there or just tie a luggage tag to it Okay, that's it. There is no more. I think that's enough. I think that worked out quite well, actually. So, happy with that. We do sell, we've got a couple of packs of this stuff. It's called Craftex. Um, and it's, it's quite stiff. So if you wanted to make it from, from the beginning, from their um, pattern, from Plush Addicts pattern, then it's a, a that that might actually work. It's a Bosal um, thing. It's called Craft Text. Craft Text. Uh, you steam press it to restore or sh set the shape, um, but it it can be sewn or fused onto any project. So they've got like little hexi trays there 
Oh, look, they're not hexy, but you know, same thing as the hexy trays, but square. Um, they do bags and things. I've got a bag idea that I'm going to use it for, so don't buy all of it. That's it. I will speak to you. Oh, there we are, Ali. You'll be able to do that. That would be really cool. We want pictures. If you do decide that you're going to cover your boxes, your fabric boxes, let me know, okay? Um, send me pictures because I think we can work with that. If you come up with an idea for inside, I mean, double-sided sticky tape will probably do it and keep it down, especially if you're using the cardboard ones. Don't forget, the raffle will go on tomorrow at midday. Chan's going to schedule that and um, if it's all drawn it'll either be me drawing it on Saturday or Sarah on Monday night when she does the um, the quilt along okay uh, but anyway we will we, we'll let you know go on there's new fabrics on the on the website don't forget that we've got the three pound for a unit so that's six pound a meter fabric still there um please buy it i want the space um because i've got boxes over there that i haven't even opened yet and i've got no room for them so please go buy go go to the website and buy stuff um i'll see you next week tuesday Cro crochet along on tuesday i'll see you then bye